How's it going guys? This is Dan Rody from the Band of Reha. We're based in Austin, Texas. Today's gear review isn't for me. It's for my buddy Max right here. This is our review for the Four Paws Aviation K9 earmuffs. I live in Austin, Texas, and you can basically bring your dog almost anywhere. Another great thing about Austin is that we're a music city, and that means there's live music everywhere. So why wouldn't I want to take my dog to gigs and concerts with me? The only problem is Max is very scared of loud noises. He hates fireworks and he hates drums. So my solution was to buy these. There's a more popular original brand called Mutt Muffs. These are the direct competitor. The reason I bought these is they did a A-B test with Mutt Muffs and the Four Paws with an actual audiologist. They found that the Four Paws actually have 41.875 decibels more noise reduction than the more popular Mutt Muffs. That's a big difference, especially for dogs that are scared of loud noises. Let's start with the design. Oh, are you okay? First off, the cups are made of hard plastic very durable. I don't see these breaking anytime soon. The interior of the cups are lined with a very soft foam with like a black nylon covering. Very soft to the touch. This is actually what's going to be touching your dog's head when they're on. Inside the cup is some more foam that doesn't touch the dog's face. It's used for noise canceling and noise absorption. The fasteners are pretty standard latching mechanisms like that. The straps can be adjusted to the size of your dog's head using these pulley systems right here. There are six in total, very customizable, very nice, comfortable snug fit for your dog's head. Another benefit of having these eyes instead of just holes in the actual cup is that it provides a completely airtight fit on your dog's head, which actually increases the noise cancellation. These were a bit more expensive than the Mutt Muffs, but I think the overall hearing protection is worth it. By the way, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button down below. It'll help increase the views on this video and get it seen by more people which will hopefully have a lot more happy pups in the world okay let's see how they fit as you can see they simply fit over the head like so I've already adjusted them to fit to his head you want to make sure that his ears are tucked inside of the cups and then you take the lashes and fasten them to the head there we go they fit pretty securely. You want a snug but comfortable fit, not too tight, not too loose. By the way guys, if you could comment and tell me if my dog looks like an astronaut about to be shot off in space, that'd be great. So now that Max has his earmuffs fitted securely, let's test out how much they help. One of Max's biggest issues is drums. The manual says that you're supposed to leave the earmuffs around the neck off of the ears and bring the dog into a loud environment first and then place the earmuffs over the ears so the dog can realize the difference in how much they help. We're gonna start with the first test. I have a very apprehensive dog because he knows what's coming. I feel bad. Got my snare drum, got my drumstick. Here's without the earmuffs on. Hey, it's it. And now the earmuffs have been applied. Okay, I'm gonna play like a music video and try them on myself too, just to see if I can notice a difference with them on. Oh my God, that's like night and day. It's so quiet. Okay guys, we tried the in-home loudness test. I think the best thing to do is take Max out with the earmuffs on, take him to some gigs, take him to some concerts, see how he reacts. By the way, if you like my content, it would really help me out if you subscribed and hit the notification bell down below. All right, let's go. set up here at Parlor and Yard. Max has his earmuffs on. I gotta adjust him a little bit and then we'll, we'll do a little sound check to see how he's doing. You gonna be okay, buddy? So the first gig went pretty well. Max was pretty chill. The only variable was that Chris, my drummer, was using an electric kit. So that may have not been as loud, harsh, or shrill as an acoustic kit would be. To give a full review, I think I'm gonna do one more gig where Chris is using the acoustic kit and film Max's reactions. I wanna give the most honest review of this product. By the way, if you wanna support the band, I'm gonna leave my Spotify link and Bandcamp link in the description below. If you could follow us on Spotify, that'd be a really big help. Okay, let's go.
Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped you out. If you liked it, please click that like button down below. I'm also offering a 7% discount on DistroKid today. DistroKid is an online music aggregate that will send your songs to all the major music streaming platforms. iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music, link down below. I'm also affiliated with CloudBounce.com. CloudBounce.com is an online mastering program that masters your songs in real time on the internet and you're able to customize it. It sounds great, it's cheap, and Abbey Road Studios is the ones that developed it. The same Abbey Road Studios that made Abbey Road for the Beatles. Alright guys, thank you. Have a great day.